Hi, I'm Gia Nicolaides. Here's everything you need to know this morning about the coronavirus. It's day 85 of the national lockdown, and the number of confirmed cases have gone up as expected to over 83,000. That means an additional 3,400 cases were recorded in the past 24 hours. There are also 63 more deaths, pushing the death toll to 1,737. President Cyril Ramaphosa says the pandemic is an opportunity to reset the economy with a bigger focus on doing things locally, as well as to review policies that might no longer be fit for purpose. He was answering questions in Parliament yesterday, saying he's an optimist, and he was upbeat on prospects for a more inclusive economy rising from the devastation of the lockdown. This week, the president also announced the easing of regulations under Level 3, which are set to kick in soon. Personal care services, sit-down meals at restaurants, cinemas, theatres, casinos and conferences for businesses are all set to resume. However, the DA will continue with its court challenge against the restriction on hairdressers and salons, saying it's wary about the government making a U-turn on the decision to reopen salons and the personal care industry because this is what happened with tobacco sales. We're still waiting for judgment to be handed down in the cigarette case brought by tobacco company Fita. Taking a wider look at the pandemic, China has found that the meat and seafood sections in Beijing's wholesale food market were severely contaminated with the coronavirus. This after an outbreak was traced back to the market. Japan has lifted all coronavirus-related curbs on domestic travel and people have been encouraged to go sightseeing or attend concerts and other events to help the nation's economy bounce back. And Canada will soon roll out a COVID-19 tracing app for smartphones, developed with the help from BlackBerry and Shopify, as the number of cases topped 100,000 in that country. For more on the pandemic, go to ewn.co.za and remember to like, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel.